What's up guys, it's Eric from Veris Engineering. It is a Saturday at the shop. We got the machines running on some 6061 and uh, we are working on a new project. Our GR86 came in, so now the first thing we're gonna do is scan the car. Um, I'm gonna do a quick little overview of how we scan the car here at Veris. We're gonna use a white light scanner to scan the entire car so that we can get the car into CAD and then into CFD and allow us to run um, some aerodynamic studies on it before we start developing products for the car. This is really exciting for us because we basically started with the BRZ, which is behind the camera, you can't see it, but we started with the BRZ, this is the newer generation, so we're kind of excited to get started on this and um, definitely use some of our tips and tricks that we've learned over the other chassis and apply them to this car. So uh, let's get started. All right guys, we concluded uh, scanning the exterior of the car. Uh, the next step is going to be aligning all those scans into one single scan so that we can, what the program calls Fuse, which is basically combined all the scans into one file format. Um, and then we can actually output that and then we can work on solidification, which I'll try and talk about a little bit later. But for right this moment, we have finished scanning the exterior of the car. Next step is to get it on a lift so we can scan the underbody. We do scan the entire car so that we can actually run the entire car in CFD and try to get the most accurate results in our simulations as we can to compare them to real life. All right guys, it is the following Saturday. We now have the GR86 on the lift, so I'm able to scan the underbody. I've already sprayed our uh, developer spray onto the car, and that you'll see that that's on all the black parts, and that's because our scanner has a hard time picking up black objects. So the goal today is to scan the whole uh, rear underbody so that we can A, design a diffuser, and B, get that CAD for solidification so that we can run accurate CFD. We're gonna scan the left side of the car and the tunnel. We'll be able to then mirror the other side. I will be scanning the, the front section because that's not so much mirrored left to right. And I will also be scanning the full um, splitter underbody uh, area so that we can get an accurate model for CFD. All right, so here I am scanning the diffuser area. You'll see in the bottom left that that is actually what the computer screen is doing as I'm scanning. The red is close, the blue is far away, and that kind of helps you while you're scanning to uh, basically see how the scanner is tracking. The whole goal during this is to get a lot of overlapping data so that the scan comes through properly and dimensioned well. I then go back and get uh, very close details like that fender vent right there to ensure that we can actually CFD that through vent and see how it does in CFD. So this is part of the next step, which is aligning all the scans as you'll see, I use a few points and actually align the scans with a previously aligned scans so that you're basically building a car from scratch. I find this actually really enjoyable. It's a, it's a lot of work, but it is uh, fun for me because you get to mess around with the scan data and basically build a car from scratch. At this point, all the scan data is aligned, so then we will fuse the units together. You'll see here that the fused unit has a single color and it's also a lot nicer geometry. Ultimately, I do a bunch of uh, post-processing which is basically removing extraneous data and, uh, and basically it takes all that scan data and puts it into a single file and then at the very end here you'll see that I align the two fuses together which is the upper body and the lower body and make sure that that all makes sense and then we can actually output that STL and use that as far as uh, solidifying the data and moving towards CFD. All 